totally five items I am having here and all the five items I have inserted inside the cart. Now I will come here, I will just open this one. Now inside cart details, I will be having five items stored. You can see here, there are totally five items. If I just delete one, okay. One row is been deleted now. Now here I am having five. As soon as I refresh this one, I should be getting four here. Okay, you can see now totally four items are available inside the cart. We have seen how to display this dynamic data and also we have worked on this add to cart button. Now we are going to work on this price. So before that we have to do some changes inside the cart table. I will just come to cart table and also we are going to display the price inside our cart. Okay, as I told you, we have not displayed the price in our cart. You can see we have not displayed the price, but in my demo, I have displayed the price here. Okay, now we are going to display the price as well and also we are going to do some changes inside this cart table. Now here we are having cart details. As I told you, whatever item user adds to the cart, that product ID will be stored inside this cart table. So for this, we don't have to give auto increment value. But while creating this table, I have checked on that auto increment. So we are just going to remove that auto increment. And also if you want to give this column as primary key, you can give or else you can remove from there. From here, we are having this product ID, IP address and quantity. I will just click on this change. From here, I am just going to uncheck this auto increment value. Okay, I have just unchecked this one. Now, inside this null privileges, if you want to give, you can give or else you can just keep as it is. Later on, if you want to remove primary key, we are going to remove. But as of now, we are not going to remove primary key. I will just click on save. Once it is changed, I will just click on save. Now you can see that auto increment has gone. Why I have removed? Because each and every time this value is not incrementing by itself. Okay, we are giving the product ID and that product ID will be stored inside the database. So we don't have to give auto increment. But by inserting the users, by inserting the products, we are giving auto increment because each and every time we are not going to insert any ID. So for that we have just given auto increment. But for this cut, we don't need to give auto increment. So I have just removed that one. Okay, this is the first change we have to do and the next change is we have to display the price. Okay, now here I will just come here. Okay, this was our get products function and inside this we have already fetched this price. You can see we have already fetched the price from the database. Now below this description, I am just going to create another paragraph. Now here I will just write here product price. I will save this. I will come here. Now you can see I do not have price. I will refresh this one. As soon as I refresh, you can see here I am having the price. Okay, whatever price I am having inside these items, that price has been stored. First, I am just going to write here price. Okay, for better understanding, I will be writing here price. And here I will just give this one. I will save this. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see here I am having price and this symbol also I am getting. Okay, this is how we are going to display the price. Now, when I click on view more, you can see inside product details, I am not having this price. So again, I have to pass that. I will just copy this one. Wherever I am having these cards, I am just going to paste this line. Okay, here also I am just going to paste. Then again, inside this get unique also, I am just going to paste. Then again, inside this get brands also, I will be pasting that one. Okay, wherever we are fetching these cards, I am just pasting that price. Okay, so that I will be getting the price. Below this also, I will paste. Okay, that's it. We have pasted everywhere. Now, I will come here. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see here the price will be available. Now, when I search for any product, that price will be available. Okay, before that I was not having that price. Now, I will be getting the price as well. Now, whatever price is displayed here, that is the same price we have stored inside this product table. When we inserted the product, for each and every product we gave some price. Now, you can see for mangoes. We have given here 200. So for mangoes, it will be displayed as 200. Now again, let me just come here. For apples, we have given 300. Now I'll just search for apple. Search. You can see for apple, 300 will be displayed. Okay, this is the dynamic price. Whatever price we have stored inside the database tables, we are just fetching that one and we are just displaying this. Previously, we forgot to display the price. Now we have just displayed the price and also we have removed auto increment value from our card details table. Next, we are going to see how to display this dynamic price. Okay, now totally I am having four items. 
whatever price i am having for this items that should be added and that price should be displayed here in place of this total price next we are going to work on this total price 